Well, looky here. Look at this. Is this actually a crash ship? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This might be a crash ship. This might be a crash ship. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Come on. It is a crash ship. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our expedition playthrough. So we've done phase one, two, and three. We've com just completed phase three, which is, you know, we needed to get our industrialist uh, milestone. But now we're on to phase four. Now let's look at the beginning right here. Restore your starship life support system. Uh, visit an outpost. That's going to be hard to find. Construction. Oh, construct an additional teleporter. I could do that probably right now. Cross country. Travel by Exocraft. 15,000. Oh, we're going to be driving in this one too. Wow. Okay. Detectorist. Dig up buried items. Four out of five. Oh, we could probably get that done too. The hills are alive. Summon a mountain of at least... 625 units. Wow. Spend 30 seconds airborne and excavate ancient bones. Okay, so we have a lot to, on our plate. I think the first one we can probably do really easy is construct an additional teleporter. So let's just make a teleporter right here at our uh, mineral farm. Let's see. Pull up our, uh, our menu. Go to our teleporter symbol. And we need carbon nanotubes. That's it. So you need four metal plating, carbon nanotubes, two, and... Sodium. We could totally do that. So let's make some carbon nanotubes real fast. Two of them. And we could pop this baby right down right here. So we're going to need some power. So we might need to power it up. But we'll just put it out here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right there. Network online. I didn't even have to power it. You don't even have to put power through it. Just have it. Okay. So if you just build a second one... Does it count? Well, I'm going to power this thing because I want to make sure that it can actually work. So I'm going to actually power it. <laughs> you don't need to, though, obviously. That's awesome, actually. We're going to put it right down here. Boom. So let's accept our reward for that. Exocraft summoning station plans. Yeah. And localized teleportation blueprints. So we can make a teleporter. Got you. Okay. I like that. So we got that one done. Network online. Perfect. So that one is easy enough. Travel by Exocraft and find a planetary outpost. That's going to be hard. Buried items. We have four out of five. I was digging them up earlier. So let me show you what a buried item looks like. It's going to be right like that right there. Doom. Look at that. Buried cash. That is what you're going to look for right there. It's going to be buried underground just like the uh, buried technology is. Except for it looks like a normal cache. Except you could get it and you only need five of these and I have four. So let's pop this baby right now and get those uh, rewards. There you go. Let's pick it up. What do we get out of it? Up oh, detectorist. We got that. What item did we get? Uh, we got, let's look, a damaged computer. So you'll get some randomized things. Sometimes you'll get a random upgrade. A black market upgrade. That's really, really rare, though, so I wouldn't count on that, but let's see what we got. Oh, we got cadmium! We, we might have to save this for later, just in case. Done. All right, so let's accept our reward for that. Detectorist. We got 750,000 units standing increased with the Corvax. Okay, so it's basically a cash reward for doing that. I'll take that. So what else do we have to do? Uh, hills are alive. Summit a mountain of 600, at least 600. So that's a huge mountain. And then spend 30 seconds airborne. We can probably actually do the airborne thing right now. Let me see. You need to find a pretty tall mountain. That's a pretty tall mountain over there. Let's go over there and I'll show you maybe how we could do the 30 second thing. All right, so we're here. I drove over in my uh, Exocraft because I want to get that uh, milestone. We need to get our uh, cross-country milestone, and I'm already at 1,800, so we're doing pretty good. So I would say anytime you're going to go anywhere, get inside your roamer or any kind of mecha, uh, exomech. But here's our mountain right here. I don't know if you need to do it by foot or, you know, by jetpack, so I'm going to try. Now, the trick is if you're against a uh, vertical uh, cliff, like if you're trying to go up here, Use your jetpack, because if you're going against a, uh, a flat surface, like it's straight up and down, 
you will not use your uh, your jetpack fuel. So let me show you what I mean. We should be able to do this. Let, let's see. Notice how my meter on my jetpack is not going down. So technically, I'm doing my Rocket Man milestone, which is hey, use your jetpack for 30 seconds, and I'm going to be climbing this mountain at the same time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get both at the same time. So yeah, just look at this. Look at this. 30 seconds. This is going to be easy. Now make sure you're against it. You have to be against the wall. If you're too far away from it, it will start to count your jetpack fuel. So you have to be really close to it. Almost touching. Almost touching. So holy cow. This is going to be easy. This is going to be way too easy. Because even if we don't get our 30 seconds going up, we still have a whole bunch of uh, fuel in our jetpack, so we can just keep holding it down. So let's see if we can actually get all the way up here. Come on, come on. Oh, my life support might run out. Oh, I didn't check my life support, oh God. Hopefully my life support does not go out before I get my 30 seconds. I don't think so, but maybe. Now I'm nervous, oh God, now I'm nervous. The hills are alive. Climbed a mountain, I didn't even touch it yet. I'm not even stopping my jetpack. Climbed a mountain over 625, there you go. So even if you're just climbing it, I guess it just registers if you're uh, touching a mountain that is over 600 feet in the air. Let's get, keep going, keep going. We're gonna get our rocket man. Come on, come on. This is so, oh man, this is definitely gonna work. This is definitely gonna work. Come on. Dude, how tall is this mountain? I've been going forever. I have not fast forwarded or anything. This is just straight up me trying to get to the top. Oh, I might run out. I might run out. I might run out. Oh, God. Come on. This had to have been 30 seconds by now, right? Had to have been 30 seconds by now. So maybe it does not count anymore. Oh, God. Well, we got our hills are alive. I'm going to run out of... Uh, I'm gonna run out of uh, life support. Holy cow. Come on, come on. 5%. Oh my god. Just barely. Just barely. Wow. Okay, so. Look at how tall this mountain is. Can't even, I can't even look at my... Uh, okay, let's look at that. 415 down there. 372. 500 dude this thing is deep okay so let's go into our uh, well number one let's refill our life support i almost died on that all right now let's go into our uh, rocket man oh well, let's accept the hills are alive rocket boots yes we got rocket boot plans on that now that's gonna be just the luck of the draw i would say look for a tall tall mountain around i found mine and this thing is massive all right so now let's all let's go into yeah i know Let's go into the Rocket Man one. Now, if you select the uh, milestone, it will actually put the timer in the bottom right hand side of your screen. So let's actually just see if I can jump off and use my jetpack if I could fall for 30 seconds. So let's try it now. Okay. Five, six. Come on. Come on. Airborne 10. 12 I'm trying to I'm trying to get it up in the air. Oh, no, if you use your jetpack it it resets it That's why what if you use your jetpack it resets your timer That is why it didn't count. Oh god. We gotta go back up there. Oh god All right So don't use your jetpack. What the why does it reset your timer if you use your jetpack? Okay, well, we're gonna go up back up to the top of this mountain and I'm gonna jump off and show you guys what you can really do. All right, let's do it. Wait a minute. I'm holding it. Wait a minute, I'm going up the side of the mountain and I'm holding down my jetpack. Look at that. Oh, no, no, if you get too close and touch the, so you can't even touch the ground at all. Got it, okay, so don't touch the, oh God. This is gonna be hard. Because I could probably do it for 30 seconds, but if I touch the 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 uh, land, it resets the timer. Okay, so you might need to have it up. That way you can see if you touch the land or not. Wow, okay. So make sure to have your milestone 
uh, activated. That way you can look at your timer and boom! So you can technically do it. You just can't touch or even get close to. Like I bumped the wall. I just barely bumped it because I'm so afraid. Okay. Look at that! Got it. Okay, so if you're going up a sheer side of a cliff, do not bump into it. Oh, man, that's so hard. That is very hard to do. Jeez, okay. Well, we're going to collect our reward. Look at that. Storm crystals and supreme movement upgrade. Okay. Let's go in here. Let's get our supreme movement. Yes. Boom. Now, actually, can we put it in here? Well, we probably could, but we don't have any room, so we'll leave it in here for now. I want to, you know, oh, I wait, we have a summoning station. Ooh, I thought we just got the blueprint. We actually got the sum summoning station. So let's pop this baby down. Maybe we can get a minotaur. Now, I haven't been able to make my minotaur geobay yet because you can only have five at a time. Oh, no, they fixed it. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I can do my minotaur now. Now, if you want to get your uh, materials back after you've placed it, Go into your build menu, and you can actually delete it, but you still keep your Minotaur. Okay. Now, if you have your uh, Exocraft summoning station, you can summon any Exocraft you've built. Oh, dude. Well, dang. Now that we have this guy, we can put our upgrades in it. I've been saving it because I couldn't do it before. It wouldn't let me before, but now I have it. Laser module, yes. An engine module, S-class engine module, yes. We need to make our, uh, our laser real fast. Um, Minotaur laser, you need 80 chromatic metal, 65 dihydrogen, and one wiring loom. I could do that. I could do that, yes! Oh, dude, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Now, the other thing you could do with an exocraft, and this is gonna help us with the uh, planetary outpost. What you can do is... Install your radar array. Oh, I need more chromatic metal. Dang it. Okay, let's go get some more chromatic metal, which means we need to go find some more uh, copper. But we have our laser here. Oh, yeah. I just put it down. I didn't actually activate it. Duh. Okay, there you go. So now we have our, our laser. Oh, yeah. We can't use our scanner in here. You have to get outside. That's another thing I wish they would change. It to be outside of your vehicle in order to scan with your visor. Let me, especially in a Minotaur, you think you would be able to scan with a visor. All right, let's go over. Oh, God! Fell down that mountain. Okay, come on, let's get over there. We need to, I might just walk over there because my Minotaur, it takes forever. Okay. Come on. We got it, we got it, we got it. I'm just trying to get my, uh... Go a certain distance in a Minotaur. Okay. I know, I know. I need my chromatic metal. I got you. All right, we're getting out. I will call my Minotaur in later. This mountain is not good for it. All right. Let's get some copper. That way we can make some chromatic metal. Get out of here, guys. All right. I got enough. I got all my copper, as you can see. Oh, God. So I'm making my uh, chromatic metal now. I should have enough immediately to actually uh, make my upgrade. So let's do that. Yep, there you go. 75. So now we have a actual scanner in our Minotaur. And you can do this in any of your Exocraft. But hit down under your D-pad. Go to the Exocraft signal booster. And you can scan for specific things. So let's look for a planetary outpost. That's what we need for our milestone. Hopefully it's not too far away. Let's see. It is 43 minutes away. You know what? I'm going to go for it because I need to get my other milestone for covering a distance with your exocraft. So on my way over there, let's go, you guys. Let's go. 45 minutes. God, this is going to be a pain. Well, guys, it did not take 40 minutes, I'll tell you that. That took me... I'm looking at my timer right now. That took me about 12 minutes. And I only... It only counted, like, what? 5,000, 6,000 units travel? Now, I will say that most of the time, what I was doing, because I have the Minotaur, you can travel really, really fast by just jumping and using your jetpack like that. 
you cover a bigger distance. Now, the problem is it doesn't count as uh, on foot travel. You, you really didn't actually count it as on foot travel. So it's just like when you're running around. If you use your jetpack and you're in the air, it doesn't count as on foot. Same thing for your exocraft. You have to be touching the ground for all this distance to count. So dang it. That's okay, though. We're about to get our uh, finding a trade outpost uh, milestone. Get up here. Yeah, landed. Holy cow. I didn't think I was going to be able to land. So, yeah, let's do it. We have to go inside real fast. I think you have to get undercover. Yep, there you go. Undercover. As soon as you get under the cover, you're good to go. So let's accept that reward. And because we have a uh, marketplace here, I might set up a teleporter here. Let's do it. Alloy crafting blueprints and the Pilgrim Geo Bay. Okay. Yes, we have the Pilgrim Geo Bay now. Alloys. So now we know how to make the alloys. That might come in handy later on. I have a feeling we're going to have to do that. Oh, wait a minute. We need to put place our uh, Geo Bay real fast, our Pilgrim Geo Bay. So with that we have our Pilgrim. Because, yeah, you cannot call in a uh, Exocraft until you've placed its Geo Bay. But all you gotta do is place it down, and then you can go back in and delete it. And the uh, Exocraft stays there. So you get your materials back. You don't even have to worry about it. Now, the thing is... What, is, what do we have to do now? Um, We have travel by Exocraft and archaeologist. Excavate ancient bones. We can do that. Oh, yeah, and we have to repair our, uh, our uh, ship. So let's do that real fast. We have to repair our life support systems. Let's go to our ship. Uh, repair the life support systems. We need hero. Okay, so Herox, whatever you want to call it. You can actually make that. Let's see if we can buy it first. I don't think they'll sell it to you. Maybe they will. Let's see. Do we have anything in here that we need? Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely buy all your cobalt and ferrite dust and all this stuff. Buy all your uh, building blocks. All the tritium. We're going to need that later if we need, you know, as a fallback plan, we need the tritium. So buy the tritium if you can. All right, so not in the shop. Do we have a pilot? Yes, we do. Let's see if one of these pilots will sell it to us. Now, keep in mind, you cannot buy any of the ships here because the expedition prevents you from it. Even if you have all the money you can, you, you still won't be able to buy it. So watch this. Watch. Buy, an, uh, make an offer on a ship. Negotiate the price. It's only worth 935000 but you cannot purchase it. They will not let you buy a ship or fix one. If you find a crashed ship, you cannot fix it and claim it. For whatever reason, they want you on the ground, so you cannot buy a new ship or anything like that and break the pieces down. That's what I wanted to do to begin with, but you can't do it. But let's see if he can sell me some Herox. Oh, he'll sell me some Tritium. Uh, nothing. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some- we buy as much tritium as you can for the Herox, okay? So we're gonna have to do that. But now- oh, let's see if I need uh, any health. Health is at maximum. So, what do we need to do? We need to e either uh, cross country or we can get some bones. Actually, let's look around. Let's see if there's any bones around here. So what you're looking for is right there. That yellow thing right there. You could totally go out and b get some buried bones. Now, you might get lucky. It says you need to uh, excavate ancient bones. It doesn't tell you each site. So every site can have a different set of bones. What am I doing? I need to walk over there with my uh, minotaur because I need to get those, uh, I need to get those feet, those, those, uh, that time. So let's go over there with our minotaur. Six minutes. It's only 600 feet away. What the heck? Okay, so maybe they're, they're counting it because your minotaur is so slow. But watch this. Yeah, see, look at that. That timer goes down way fast if you just use your jetpack. And it recharges so quick that you could just constantly use it over and over again. So yeah, that six minutes turned into four minutes within ten seconds. Look at that. Instantly. Almost three minutes. Every minute. Now, again, you know, I'm not getting any of my uh, time, any of my distance on foot with my... Uh, Exocraft this way, but it helps and I'm destroying a whole bunch of stuff. The Sentinels are not cool with that But let's go over here and get this natural burial site Let's get out of here that way. I don't make the Sentinels ang angry anymore. So here it is Pull out our uh, terrain manipulator 
Now, sometimes you'll be unlucky like this one. It looks like there's only one here. Yeah, there's only one here. So we're very unlucky. That's okay. We got one, right? Yep, one. But there's going to be times where you run into like two or three of them. And that's what you're looking for. Let's see if we have any more sights around here. Nothing close by. We have some storm crystals, but no buried bones. Okay. Oh, no. There's one up here. Let's see. I'm actually just going to do this on foot. I'm way too lazy to just, you know, get in my, my exo mech because the mech is so slow to turn around. It's like a big, like, lumbering thing. But yeah, look at it. Look how fast, especially if you fully upgrade your uh, jetpack, you can go real quick. So that's why there's a certain point where being on foot is actually faster. Then you don't have to worry about all the, uh, the exocraft stuff. But you need to do it for the milestone, so I would recommend you do it as much as you can. I just am going to try to see if we get multiple bones in one dig site. It looks like maybe we can't. All right, where is this thing at? All right, up here. Okay. We're getting close. Getting close. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, we're right here. We're right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's going to be multiple bones in here. So there's two, it looks like, at least. We picked up one. Let's dig around. Oh, we got to dig over here. So that counts as one. We have another one here. That's two. So we got three total, right? We should be at three total. But there's only two different dig sites. And three. So, yeah, it just counts the bones. So just pick up ten bones that are buried underground. We could totally do that. And I'm going to make my way back to my starship. But I'm going to use my, uh, my exocraft to get this dang number up. And we're going to be looking for bones along the way. So, man, we got a lot of, a lot of work to do. Let's do it. Let's get that exomech over here. Right here. All right. Let's go, man. Let's go get some mileage under our belt. And head back to our ship, which is over an hour away. Let's go do it. Well, looky here. Look at this. Is this actually a crash ship? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This might be a crash ship. This might be a crash ship. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Come on. It is a crash ship that we cannot pick up. Look at this. Cannot purchase it. Are you kidding me? I could get this and then sell it for four million. I can break all the pieces down. Can I break it? I can't even break it while it's in there. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Let's see if we can get any upgrades out of here. Because there's going to be, you know, one of these broken modules right next to it. Let's see. Anything I can use? Come on. Uh, nanites. Okay. And then there should be an emergency broadcast receiver. Emergency beacon. There it is over here. Let's see if we can get something out of here, maybe. Yep, the light mask you wear seems to wide and dim. The hologram disappears. Let's look for... We can do technology or good. So we're going to do technology. Let's see what we can get. I scan a blueprint. Now I can construct one of these advances myself. So now I have a teleport receiver for my ship that is broken. I could install it. I need to install it over there. That way I can teleport stuff to my, uh, my ship. So actually, that's a good benefit once I get over to my ship, which is still a long ways away. With how long? Uh, we still have a ton more. Uh, oh, God. Let's keep going. Jeez. Oh, I just got the cross country. 15,000 units traveled in an exocraft. Thank God that worked. So we got our upgrades. Okay, let's see what we got them for. Exocraft boost mode and engine module. Okay, so let's see if we could do that. It, it, will it actually go into my exocraft? Let's see. Can't install in this inventory. So this is your normal one for your roamer. Dang it, this goes into your roamer. So you can't even use it for your... You use your minute... Oh, good lord, okay. All right. Well, we got upgrades for our uh, roamer. So there you go. And I've been picking up some bones. So let's just keep on heading back, I guess. And we found our natural burial site. Let's get this one. This should be our last one, I think. Let's see. This should be it. There we go. The archaeologist collected 10 fossils. I'll take that. 
Let's get let's go and accept our reward. So we got three planetary charts for doing that. And speaking of that, I literally found it right next to this building right here. This looks like a manufacturing facility. Oh, yes, it is. So we're going to do this one the right way, the correct way. Let's go find our uh, our save beacon. There it is over here. So this is our save beacon. Let's go save first just to make sure all our progress is saved up until this point. Now, the reason why you want to do that is because when you break into a uh, facility like this, you have to blow open the door, but you have to complete the riddle on the inside. If you mess it up, you can always reload your last save and try it again. So that's why you want to do that. You want to make sure to save right before you open this door. Let's get in here and see if I can complete this question correctly. I know, I know. I don't even know what it says because I don't know any of the words. Security measures have begun to full system wipe. I see file after file being purged. Um, let's wait. Let's wait. Wait, wait, wait. As I wait, the countermeasures complete their purge. The terminal shuts down. Its screen is lifeless. Okay, so that didn't work, but that's okay. We're going to reload our save and do it again. So there you go. We reloaded our save. Let's get back in here. Whoa, it's underground. This is not good. What is going on here? That is not supposed to happen. Let's reload our save yet again, because I think that glitched out when it lo loaded the save. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, there you go. That is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> I don't know what happened earlier, but that did not work well. All right, let's blow this door open again. And this time we know we don't have to wait. We're, we're going to just uh, force a restart, maybe. Let's see. Come on, I know. So it should be the same exact question every single time. Because once it's loaded this thing, it, uh, it knows, okay, this is a question you have to ask every time. There we go. Let's go to force restart. I forcibly restart the system. After a short delay, the screen comes back to life. All traces of the security program have vanished. Normal operations have resumed and I have access to the facility's main control panel. I should be able to alter production to my own benefit. Yes, let's learn a new recipe. Now this is where you're gonna use your factory override units. I have seven of them because we get them as a reward for another milestone, but I have seven of them so I can unlock seven blueprints and you know what we need, right? We need our solar mirrors. We need to know how to make that. We are probably going to need to know how to make a hydraulic wiring. So let's grab that real fast. That'll just make it easier. All this stuff is to build uh, items. You know, so that way you can build blueprints. Amino chamber. Um, I don't think we're going to need a star shield battery. Maybe. But I want to get my atlas pass, of course. I want to get my atlas pass. And you can do two and three if you want to, but you're probably not going to need them yet, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. So we have everything basically unlocked here. I mean, we can do a uh, submarine reactor fuel. We can do that for our submarine, but we don't need that yet. Now you can start unlocking some of these. Now, this is what we need right here. Herox. This is the blueprint we need. We know how to make that, right? Ammonia and ionized cobalt. We could totally make that. But if you did not have that blueprint unlocked, you have to go through. You'll have to get the acid, then the thermic energy or thermic condenser, and then the rovronium, and then Herox. So there you go. You have to go through this trail right here. Let's get some acid going. And these are all things that you can make that are kind of uh, hard to, to uh, get early on. But once you start going, it'll be super easy. There we go. So now we learned all of our recipes. Let's go back to our, uh, let's go back to our base actually. So we have a base up here. I'm gonna show you a different way to make it if, in case you cannot, you know, you, do, you cannot get the recipe. There is a way to make it. Let's go to make it real fast. All right, so we made it into our uh, base, thankfully. So there are a couple ways to make 
the Herox that we need. So let me look over here on our uh, ship. We need condensed carbon and Herox, right? We need two Herox. There are two ways to make it. Now, if you have the blueprint, you can just make it in your inventory. So if you go to craft product, you can make Herox in your inventory. Let's look at it. Boom, right there. So you would just need 50 ammonia and 50 ionized cobalt. Totally can do it in your inventory. But if you do not have the blueprint, like if you didn't figure out how to do it yet, that's okay. You can actually make it in your medium refiner. Oh, no, no. You need a large one because I think you need three uh, up. You need three installation or three inputs. Oh, God. Let's get our large refiner while we're here. So to unlock your large refiner. Oh, you're going to need another 10 uh, buried technologies. Woo! And we need some sodium nitrate and microprocessors. That's okay. We can make some sodium nitrate really quickly. So let's make some sodium nitrate. And we need some microprocessors as well. So let's do that. Oh, wait. Let's stop it. We don't want to make too much sodium nitrate because we still need some of this. So boom. And let's say 40 looks good, right? Boom. Oh, yeah. Stop. First. There, there you go. All right. So we're going to need some microprocessors as well. That's why we have our, our uh, thing here. All right, so now we should be able to make our large refiner. Sodium nitrate. Oh, no, I did need more sodium. Dude. All right. I didn't think we needed that much, but we do, obviously. So you need 100 sodium. Where's my sodium at? Where'd my sodium go? Oh, yeah, it's, is it in there still? Yeah, it is. Okay, duh, I left it in there. Wow, I am losing my mind, you guys. I am losing my mind. All right, and we need two more microprocessors. Dude, my inventory is getting full here. Two more microprocessors. Done. So now we can make it. Good Lord, that took forever. So let's pop this baby right over here. No, no, no. Large refiner. Got to get it away from me because I don't want it to hit my body. All righty. So once you have your large refiner and go through all the hassle I just went through, all you need to do is put in ammonia. You remember the tritium we were buying from the trading outpost earlier? You need tritium. You can also buy it from your side terminal, but there's nothing yet. And then if you put some cobalt in here, boom. So that's what you need. Those three items, ammonia, tritium, and cobalt. But you need a lot of it because you need 30 ammonia, 20 tritium, and 60 cobalt. So this is a lot harder to make it, but it makes it easier in the fact that you don't need the blueprint. So. Because you don't need the blueprint, it's going to cost you a lot more materials to make the Herox. So I would highly, highly recommend just getting the blueprint because the blueprint is way easier to make it. And speaking of that, we need ionized cobalt. So let's get some of our uh, regular cobalt and make it into ionized cobalt. Oh, yeah, we can sell our bones. That might help out with our inventory. Let's sell our bones. Get rid of the bones we have going on here. Curious bone. We can sell our uh, these as well. Because we can go to the uh, trading outpost and uh, buy those if we wanted to. Creature pellet. Storm crystals. We're just trying to make some room in my inventory. That's all we're doing. Because we can get all these other items pretty easily. Uh, oh, yeah. Bones like crazy. And I think that's about it. Uh, sack venom. I still want to hold on to it, but I don't know if I need it or not. I'm starting to think we don't need it. All right. So we have our iron ice cobalt. So now we can make our Herox. So let's do it. We need two of them. Two Herox. There you go. So that was going to take uh, 50 and 50. That's 100 ammonia and 100 iron ice cobalt. And you have what you need. So let's go back over to our ship and get it done. Yeah, we made it. And for whatever reason, my... Uh, my ship is having a bad day. There's no base here. There should be, though. Maybe the base hasn't loaded in today. Okay. I did record a uh, play yesterday, so... All right. Oh, yeah, we need condensed carbon. I didn't make that, but I can make that. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah, that is clear. All right. So let's take our carbon. Pop that baby in there. And actually, let's put some more carbon fuel in there. So we should get enough pretty quickly here. All right. 
Condensed carbon. So, let's look at it. Yep, condensed carbon 63 and Herox 2. Or Heroke, whatever you want to call it. Done and done. Life support system is up and going now. Yes! Milestone complete. We have phase four complete, it looks like. I bet. Come on. Hit me with it. Nothing. We're not going to do it now? You're not going to show me phase four complete? Let's look at my expedition. I did have all of it, right? Yes, I did. Collect this silver ward right here. Got it. Auto diagnostics four. I got 9, 999 nanites. Yes, you're getting paid in nanites for that. And now our phase four is complete. Saucer fungus plans, cave creeper plans, trago, trago tulip plan. All right, so we get a lot of uh, uh, plants for your base. That way when you're base building, you can do it. Yeah, there you go, you guys. Wow. So we are done with phase four. This is gonna be, man, we have to go to phase five. Let's see what we need to do in phase five. Lift off, perform a low flight. Dock with the space station or reach around everyone. Repair the frame shift catapult and warp to a new system. Oh, oh man. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait for phase five. Let me throw it down in those comments. Have you gotten it there yet? Have you gotten your reward? Let's go and I'll see you guys next time. I can't wait.